excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> it's massive. Oh, this is huge. Whoa. If you want to feel like small and just mind blown, this is the hike for you. Today we're doing something we are so excited about. We are hiking the Wire Pass Trail to part of Buckskin Gulch, which is the longest and deepest slot canyon in the Southwest. We've officially started the Wire Pass Trail and a couple things to know about this hike. It is $6 per person and per dog and you can buy your permit online in advance at recreation.gov. We'll put a link to where you can get that below. We'd heard that not all dogs love this hike and you'll probably see why in a bit. So Kona's gonna sit this one out and just take a nap in the van. This hike's also around six miles according to the all trails map that we are following, but it's also kind of a choose your own adventure. You can go as far as you like or turn around sooner. So we'll see what we actually end up doing. So you start the trail going down the wash. Isn't too terribly exciting. You do have some nice rocks on either side. Pretty scenery, especially here at sunrise. But the really exciting part is coming up I think it's about three quarters of a mile to a mile, somewhere in there. The fun is about to begin. Eee! Cool. Are you excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> we just entered the wire pass slot. We're not yet to the Buckskin Gulch. But this is incredible. Oh wow. Like every <laughs> every turn so far is just like wow, whoa, cool. I love it. <laughs> We have a bit of a drop. There's a wooden ladder to help you get down to the next part. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Wow. Oh, that's like a 10 foot at least drop. <laughs> nice. Yeah, getting the ladder, the ladder looks sturdy, but getting like onto it seems. This is the part right here that's not very dog friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Slot canyons form over millions of years as water rushes through rock, especially sandstone and limestone. And even today, slot canyons are very impacted by water and can flash flood very, very quickly. So big PSA, if you're gonna hike wire pass to Buckskin Gulch or any slot canyon, make sure to check the weather, not just for the slot canyon, but the surrounding areas weather, because even rain off in the distance can flash flood these things super quick. And you do not wanna be stuck in one of these when it flash floods. We just left the Wire Pass Slot Canyon and we're making our way to the beginning of the Buckskin Gulch, which as we mentioned at the beginning, is the longest and deepest slot canyon in the Southwest. It's over 13 miles long and 500 feet tall. I think we lied earlier. I think we're still in the wire pass slot. We're not really sure because we just entered another slot canyon. This one seems more narrow and taller. This whole experience kind of reminds us of Antelope Canyon, but less like bright orange and it seems more narrow. It's, it's so cool. And the best part is we haven't seen anyone yet. So we have it all to ourselves. Let's 
sorry. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> okay, I think we found the real beginning of the buckskin gulch. Yeah, this looks like the picture. Wow. <laughs> Man, with this oh early light coming through here. Gorgeous. It's massive. Whoa. This is huge. Whoa. So I saw in some pictures and I read about some petroglyphs on the one end of the Buckskin Gulch. I can't remember if it was the north or the south end. But here's one right here. So cool to think about. People have been coming down here for thousands and thousands of years. Walking in there for the steps, so cool. It looked way easier than me. <laughs> the sun's getting higher the longer we stay in here, obviously. So there's more and more light coming in. It's just changing the scenery every now and then. Pretty cool. It's making it a fiery orange. After the wire pass slot canyon, you're pretty much going through slot canyons the rest of the time. So it's kind of similar in appearance, but having that light change just makes it have a different feel. And seriously, as we're walking, I just can't stop thinking like how crazy it, like the, how this formed. It's just so crazy. Nature is wild. If you want to feel like small and just mind blown, this is the hike for you. just to give you a little bit of a map update. We started right here. We've gone all this way, about 3.3 miles. The All Trails map ends right here. It says Buckskin Overlook. Not totally sure what that means, but we're pretty close. So I think we're gonna go see what it's all about. just absolutely massive in here. Oh wow, it really opens up. I think we made it to the end of where All Trail says to go. As you can see though, um, All Trail <laughs> struggled to keep up with our movements because it said we lost a GPS signal. So it looks like we just went But it's very easy to follow the trail because there's only one option. So I don't know, it opens up a ton right here. I'll go check it out and then probably head back. Something we forgot to mention is that the Wire Pass Trailhead is the same trailhead as the Wave, which is that really iconic hike in Arizona that only lets 20 people in a day. It's basically impossible to get a permit, but Wire Pass allows anyone, as many people as possible to hike it, which has its pros and cons. It, that means it can be busier, but it means it's more accessible. We haven't seen anyone. We started at like 7.15ish. We haven't seen anyone until now on our way back. We saw two people, but we hear it'll probably get busier closer to the end. All right, we made it back to this three hours and 45 minutes. It says 8.6 miles, but I think it. I think it thinks we went on our own path. We think it was about six miles total. And now for the other fun part almost nine miles of dirt and gravel road back to the highway. So if you've done any research on this hike, you will probably see people talking about this dirt road out to it. So we actually drove in yesterday and stayed at a campground called State Line Campground, which is located on the Arizona and Utah. I forgot what states we were in, 
border. That way we could get this drive out of the way, not in the dark. So we have driven it before and our van survived it on the way here and it should be good on the way back too. It's not too bad. We're extra careful on uh, what roads we take the van on because it's not only our van, but it's also our house. So if something happens, we're kind of out of luck on both of those. So the road's not too bad. They recommend two wheel drive is okay. And also high clearance is okay. Just go slow. It's just bumpy. It's not too bad. I saw a Mustang come out this morning. So if he can make it, I think anybody can. But they do say if the road is wet, do not go on it. It's totally impassable, even to four by four. And 45 minutes later, we are back on pavement. <laughs> do you hear that? It's not rattling around. It's nice and quiet, right? <laughs> We headed into Kanab, Utah, which is west of the Wire Pass Trail, and it's actually where we've been hanging out the majority of the week at an awesome free campsite. Kanab is named after a Paiute word meaning land of the willows, and it's nicknamed Little Hollywood because of its filmmaking history over the years, including some films like Lone Ranger, Buffalo Bill, Planet of the Apes, and Maverick, just to name a few. For many years, Kanab was one of the most isolated cities in the nation, and it was cut off from the rest of the nation by the Colorado River, deep canyons, sand dunes, and desert plains. But now it's a very popular destination in Southern Utah because of its proximity to so many amazing things to do, like the Slot Canyon we did today, and a couple things we'll show you in our next video. No hike is complete without a post hike stuff your face fest. We grabbed takeout from a place called Rock and V Cafe in downtown Kanab. It's a really cool spot. It's a restaurant and they pride themselves on doing like slow food and using high quality ingredients. They have a really great menu, but they also have live music sometimes and they have an art gallery upstairs. It's a really, really neat spot. So I got the Kanabadaba Do burger. So it's a giant half pound patty. I think there's Swiss cheese on there, bacon, it's got green chilies, avocado, some kind of house sauce. The bun looks awesome and fluffy and fresh. I basically just got it because one, it looks really good, it sounded good, but the name is just awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it also comes with a side and we just got mashed potatoes. They look good though. Mmm. That burger is canabadabalicious. <laughs> so dang good. First off, the first as soon as you bite into it, you get that green chili flavor. Such a burst of flavor. And then the cheese and the bacon adds some saltiness. The the uh, burger patty's got a nice grilled flavor to it. The bun, like I said, is nice and soft and fluffy and just a perfect vessel for this. Avocado, even more flavor. Oh, this is, I love everything about this. The sauce <laughs> also adds a little tanginess too. It is so dang good. And I got the deep dish veggie enchilada and I added some chicken on top. And in this deep dish enchilada, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> is roasted peppers, hatch green chili, zucchini, and onions. And then it's topped with tomatillo sauce and it has this like green goddess sauce as well. Look at this, stacks on stacks <laughs> on stacks. <laughs> it looks so good. Oh, oh whoops. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> well, at least it fell in the box. Yeah. Oh my goodness. As they say on the menu, a grand staircase of flavor. It is loaded with flavor. Tortilla is nice and soft. This green sauce on top has incredible flavor. It's I'm not exactly sure what's in it, but it's really, really tasty, kind of herby. But yeah, it's just perfect. I don't know. It's just perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> People weren't lying when they said Rockin' V was rockin'. Lunch has been <laughs> devoured. One thing to note, this place, not the cheapest in town, but both things we got were absolutely delicious, so we highly recommend it. But for today, we've got some very exciting plans. We've got the laundromat, we've got the grocery store. So that'll do it for us today. But in our next video, we're gonna show you more fun things to do here in the Kanab area. We put on our new, uh, what is it? It's like a better for you sunscreen without a lot of the stuff that isn't good in sunscreens apparently. But the downside is it uh, a lot more of a white sheen on your face. <laughs> he looks like a vampire. So I look you like a vampire, tell. ghost, 
You can't tell, but just trust me. He looks like but Edward, hey, Edward Cullen. <laughs> yeah, 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 I look like Edward Cullen, but hey, sun protection. My teeth okay? Yeah. Right. Lunch. <laughs> Lunch has been devoured. 